the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 346, Colossians 1-4 God's secret, Jesus Jesus Christ, who is the very body of truth, is God's secret in which all treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden. First point, Paul's letters, Colossians and Philemon, are like two sides of one coin. Paul wrote two letters, Colossians and Philemon, to Archippus and Philemon in the Colossians church and had Tychicus deliver it. These two letters can be seen as two sides of one coin. Paul's letter to the Colossians deals with who Jesus is and how we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. The letter to Philemon ultimately taught Philemon to go beyond the slave-master relationship built by the Roman Empire and go toward his brotherhood in the kingdom of God. Paul expressed his thanks to the Colossians church for firstly deepening their faith in Jesus, secondly for their love, and thirdly for their hope in heaven. Paul also added his thanks and love towards Epaphras, who was the minister of the Colossians church. Paul furthermore prayed for them. Second point. Paul testified that all things gracious were in the secret of Jesus Christ. Paul taught the Colossians church about who Jesus is. Ultimately, Paul taught that Jesus Christ is the foundation to everything. Through Colossians, Paul introduced Jesus as the most outstanding being, the head of the church and God's secret. Paul summarized Jesus' status prestige and position. First, Jesus' status is the Savior. Second, Jesus' authority is the Creator. Third, Jesus' position is the head of the church. Fourth, Jesus' role was to take on the cross and to save all people. Paul moreover stated that he had been appointed as the apostle for 14 nations in order to reveal this truth. Thus, Paul's vision was to reveal Jesus to all nations. Third point, Paul wrote to the Colossians church to always realize the truth of Jesus Christ and to not waver whatever comes their way. Although Paul was unable to see the members of the Colossians church face to face, he nevertheless revealed his love and interest in them. He furthermore advised them to never waver in their faith. Paul stressed that God put everything in Jesus Christ. Thus, the knowledge and faith in Jesus Christ had the ability to defeat all the false teachings. Fourth point, to the Nineveh Colossians church, Paul advised them to seek from heaven. To the Nineveh Colossians church, Paul taught them to always seek from heaven. He taught them to let go of old habits and especially adultery, negatively, greed, idol worship, lying, and so on. Instead, he taught them to be merciful, humble, meek, and persevering, and to forgive one another and to always praise God. In addition, Paul exalted them about Christian families within the church. Fifth point, Paul especially introduced Tychicus and Onesimus to the Colossians church. Paul introduced Tychicus and Onesimus to the Colossians church. The reason Paul sent Tychicus to the Colossians church was because Paul was in prison, but still wished to console the church members, and also for Philemon and Onesimus to start a new relationship in God. Paul then told the church to pass on his greetings to his fellow workers. As such, Paul was always working with colleagues in Christ. We remember that in Romans chapter 16, Paul greeted all his fellow workers in Rome, despite never having visited the place. This applied also for Colossians church. 
Despite how Paul was locked up in a Roman prison at the time, he still greeted and cared deeply for his workers. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.